writing your first shell script. So basically what is a shell script? It is a file with some commands in it. So we're gonna go ahead and write our very first uh, shell script. We're gonna open a file with some editor. We're gonna put a file name. We're gonna call it hw.sh, hw for hello world. Because anytime you learn a new programming language, the first script you write is hello world. And we're gonna do a couple of things. First, we're just gonna write the script in the most simple uh, form possible. And so we're gonna type echo and then hello world inside double quotes. So we, uh, we now have a file called hello world that has a command in it. So it's a shell script. Um, but then we need to execute our shell script. So normally we uh, run commands. We just type, you know, the command we want to run. So if we want to run ls, we just type ls, right? Well, for scripting, it's a little different, right? If we type the name of the command, it says command not found. And we're not going to talk about why that is right now, but I'll tell you uh, it's because your path variable uh, doesn't have this directory in it, but we'll talk about that later. So the way we want to run commands uh, from our current directory is we want to put dot slash in front of it. So this is how we'll run our scripts in this class most of the time, dot slash hw.sh. So we'll try that. Now it says permission denied. And you're probably thinking, what do you mean permission denied? I'm the one that created this stupid script. I own this script. How can I not have permission to run my own script? And that's a good question. Uh, by default, you do not have execute permission to run your script. So we need to use uh, Chmod uh, to give us execute permission. So a couple of things you can do, right? If you do chmod plus x, that gives it to everybody, which you may or may not want everybody in the world executing your script. So do chmod u plus x will let you execute it. But we'll just do plus x for now. Uh, give it the file name. And now if we look, we have permission to execute our script. So we try to run it again. Hey, check that out. Our script worked. So that was the very basic, most simple way to, to have your script uh, run. Let's talk about some other stuff we need to talk about real quickly. Uh, one is if you uh, run your script like this, it is going to run in whatever shell you are currently using, um, which in many cases is probably fine. In our class, that's probably fine. But there might be times when you need to specify what shell you want uh, the script to run in. And in that case, you can put a special line at the beginning of the script that looks like this. And then you put the name of the shell. So I think bin bash is the path to the bash shell. We'll check that when we get out of here. But this is called, I believe, I've always heard it called like an invocation line to tell it which program to run. So if you're running this command in some other uh, shell or you need it to run in a different language, like it's possible to write PHP scripts that you run from the command line, you need to tell it which program you want it to run with. In this case, we're telling it uh, bin bash uh, to run. So now, in theory, if we were using some other shell, but we wanted our script to run in bin bash every time, no matter what, now every time our script runs, it's going to run in bin bash regardless of what uh, shell we are actually using at the command line. May or may not be important in the real world. Uh, usually might be important in the real world if you're using a weird shell, uh, but, but most of the time it's probably okay. The only other thing we're going to do right now is comments. Comments are important in scripts so that you know what the script is doing and uh, who, who uh, wrote the script. So in shell, a pound sign is a comment. So you can put uh, your, your comments in here. Some things we want to have uh, in our comments usually. The author. Date. So, you know, we'll call it today. I don't even know what today is. Uh, 210 or something. Um, and then maybe a, a purpose of the script. Uh, my first script to print hello world. Um, so, uh, for our class, we're going to put stuff like this in our scripts at the beginning uh, so we get used to doing that. Some other things you might want to put, you might have version control. So every time you make an update, this is like version zero. You know, I'll do this, but it, it's not really critical for, for class. Version, you know, 1.0. And then when you update it, you can make it version 1.1. You could keep a version history in here. You know, version 1.0, uh, initial script creation, All right? So uh, that, that might be it. Another thing you might want to use uh, comments for you know, 
if you're doing something tricky, you can put comments later in your code like this bit of code, this, uh, this bit of code is using this uh, function I found from Stack Overflow to uh, find out the least common factor of a number. You know, whatever you might be doing. If you're doing anything kind of tricky or not completely obvious, you might want to put comments in there. Another place I use comments is sometimes I will like write what my code needs to do in comments first, like get user, get user input, validate user input, um, process user input, display results. So as I start writing a, a script, I might uh, do something like this so that I can go up here and as I'm going along I, I have kind of like a skeleton of what I need to create. So that's comments and how to write your first your first script. Um, yeah so as you see some of these I have two pound signs, I have a space here, I have no space there. It doesn't matter. Any line that, that ends with a a comment, any, any line has a comment, everything else through the rest of the line is a is a comment. You can even, I probably should, should have tested this first, you can even put comments at the end of lines. This is a comment, you know, if you want to do that, and that will work too. So let's go ahead and run my script and make sure it still runs with all my comments. So there you go. So that's our first script we're going to write uh, and how we're going to uh, document our code and how you can use comments.